How's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of Wrecked Videos. Today we'll be taking a look at even more funny and embarrassing police moments. A judge wasn't very happy after he was interrupted by somebody farting in the middle of a court hearing. At 13 you were in Jackson Township. You did by engaging in a pattern. What was that? I mean, what? You can't be serious. You can't be serious. I apologize. Well, your apology isn't accepted. You're a moron. You can't do that. For gosh sakes, I'm, I'm having a court hearing here. No kidding. Yeah, he looks like it. Yeah, you've got a nice attitude. I just don't feel too well. Oh, that's too bad. All right. Before I was so rudely interrupted. This news reporter, live on air, was covering a harrowing story about a man who had murdered his wife when suddenly she couldn't stop laughing at the man's photo. Turning to news making headlines around America this morning in Michigan, police have arrested a man who's suspected of chopping up his wife. Michigan police say suspect Stephen Grant was captured in Michigan's Wilderness State Park and airlifted to a hospital. The area is more than 400 miles from Grant's suburban Detroit home. The 37 year old man is accused in the death of his wife, Tara Lynn Grant. A torso and body parts <laughs> of who is believed to be the mother of two were found this weekend in and near the Grant home. Even Grant, and he was brought here to Northern Michigan Hospital where he is being treated for hypothermia and possible frostbite to his feet. He is of course under continuous police supervision. Grant went missing hours before police found the torso in the garage of his home. We all know that cops in Brazil don't mess around, but here's one police chase involving an officer on a motorbike who clearly felt like having a little fun. Keep an eye on this police officer as he tries to stop somebody riding a motorcycle using his baton. Onlookers in Anaheim, California spotted a police chase where the suspect was attempting to flee by riding a minibike. Oklahoma police officers were alerted to a stolen vehicle, but after attempting to stop the driver, a short pursuit took place. The driver then crashed the stolen car, exiting and taking off on foot. The suspect climbs over a fence, but unfortunately for him, he was being chased by the Terminator, who decides to simply run through it. He's going westbound on foot. Westbound on foot. Put your everybody back! Down! 
somebody ordering DoorDash wanted to scare their kids, so they asked the driver to deliver the food as if they were the police. Open up! This man, while being interrogated by two cops, lets off a really big fart after realising that he's being charged. I swear that I didn't plan on the theme of this video being people farting, but as fate would have it, here we are. I have no knowledge of anything about that gun. Anything. You own any guns? No. Do you know him not own any guns? I mean, it's up to him, bro. Listen, bro, you know, it's not up to him because you're being charged with it right now. That's why we're bringing him here to talk to you about it. Oh, I'm being charged with it. Yeah. In what I think is Texas, correct me if I'm wrong, a man driving a Kia was trying to evade police when suddenly he hit a bump in the road sending him flying. And for the YouTube employee watching, he wasn't hurt so please don't demonetize this video because then I have to take it down, remove the clip, re-upload and reapply for monetization and it's hurting my channel and annoying my subscribers. Thank you. God almighty. Holy sh**. I'm not sure what this guy is taking, but in what seems like a scene out of Grand Theft Auto, this man involved in a chase with police seems to be in another dimension where he thinks the police are his own personal escort. Here's an interesting phone call between Mexican cartel leader Nemesio Cervantes, commonly referred to by his alias El Mencho, where he demands that a police official have his officers stand down, and as you're about to see, the officer quickly complies. Hey, ¿quién habla? Mira bien, hijo de tu puta madre. Soy Mencho, güey. Relaja tu puta gente a la verga. Soy Mencho, güey. Relaja tus putas partidas, si no te voy a partir tu madre, tienes toda tu bola de perros. Te tengo identificado 30 güeyes. Hasta tus putos perros te voy a matar si no te relajas, güey. ¿Cómo ves? Ya está, señor, ahorita los bajo. Oh, no, 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 no cuelgues, hijo de la verga. Te no. tengo ubicado en, en, en Chacala, güey. No, no le estoy colgando, le estoy diciendo ahorita los bajo. Póngase a las pilas, güey. ¿Qué es que le cuesta hacer amigo, cabrón? Yo ¿Uno no se mete con ustedes para que se pasen de verga? No, señor. Ahorita yo se las va. Venga, mire, revíremeles a todos los hijos de su puta madre porque todos agarran dinero y son buenos de puercos. Sí, es lo que me están diciendo. ¿Se ponen están... a tiros o tú eres el primero que vas a marchar por ellos, León? No, señor. ¿Vale? No, señor, no se trata de eso. Pero vale, se a la verga porque aquí los vergazos están al 220, ya se la sabe. Y miedo no hay. No, señor, no se trata de eso. Entonces, si quiere la amistad, aquí va a tener un amigazo, cabrón. Si no, a chingar a su madre a la verga. No, yo sé, señor. Ya estoy hasta la verga de que no entiendan, loco. Señor, usted me conoce, usted sabe que yo soy de amistad. Pues por eso me extraña, cabrón. Yo te entiendo, güey, pero por lo menos yo sé que tienes gente y la familia le chingaba. Verga, pongas de las putas pilas. Yo lo sé, señor. Más no quiero que me apagues este puto teléfono. Después te voy a marcar, güey, a ver si no se relajaron a la verga, ¿eh? No, ahorita le voy a... Ahorita le voy a, a marcar. Todos, a todos en general, güey. Relájenlos a la verga. Por favor. Ahorita, ahorita le voy a marcar de otro número a este número que me está marcando. No, no, a este ya no le vuelvas a marcar. Yo le marco cuando yo pueda. Ándale, pues. Pero no me lo, no lo apague porque lo voy a entender como negatividad. 
No, señor, ahorita le mando un mensaje de otro número para que no me lo... Órale, pues, Melón, ahí le espero eso, ¿eh? Que se relajen a la verga. Sí, señor, usted me conoce, usted sabe que hay respeto y ahí no está. Nada más Ya está, aquí... igualmente, de aquí para allá también. Yo ahí disculpen por las malas Nada palabras. Que... Aquí los muchachos ¿Ale? son los que están allá y ahorita yo se los saludo. Ahora, pues, ahí le encargo. Ándale, sí. Ahí, relájenme los todos, dígale que va de parte mía. Claro que sí, señor. Ya está. Ándale. That's it for this video guys, if you enjoyed don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you want to see more, but more importantly stay safe and I'll see you next time.